What is up, everybody? You are checking out the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast. I'm your host and longest reigning WWE pay-per-view champion of all time, the hot commodity Ant C. I'm defending my title today. I'm joined by my hot commodity Ant. I'm joined by my good friend and co-host. I'm the challenger co-host. My name is Chris. Christian, I'm winning. The championship, I'm going to become a two-time pay-per-views champion here in the Uncensored Wrestling Podcast, and it starts right now, so let's do it. So we're covering Elimination Chamber 2024 live in Perth, Australia on February 25th, 2024, am I right? No. Yep. Yeah, I'm right. Um, For us in the States, if you're in the Eastern time, it's 5 a.m. in the morning. Um, Obviously, that's what a.m. means. But it's, you know, it's early, pretty early for us here. But it's all right. It's still going to be a good show, and I'm excited to get up early. Okay, where you two are are doing this, I should be a little more good. Why? Because. All right, let's go with the first match. The first match is supposed to be the women's. Because you guys are the ones fighting for the title. So You're you in get, it, too. Yeah, but I don't really count. The first okay. one will be the women's chamber. Don't make that one first. That's the first match of the night. How do you know? Because I know. That's probably going to be the first match. I know this then if you're talking. Go ahead, champion. Who's going to win? Well, the, the participants. The participants oh my Lord. are. Where is this thing? Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan, Raquel Rodriguez, Becky Lynch, and. Tiffany Stratton. Oh, gee. Who did, you, Naomi. who did you pick? I picked Becky Lynch. Okay. Who did you pick, Christian? I'm going to have to agree. With Becky? Yeah. Yeah. I went with her, too. Um, Pretty obvious. I mean, the only other person... The only uh, the only other person I could see win is Belair, but I don't think they're going to give it to her. So I, I'm going to go with Becky. Go with Becky. Why did you go with Lynch? Because I think that it's going to be her and Rhea at WrestleMania, and I don't really see another way. Yeah, they've teased it too much. Yeah. Um, but like, case the fucking defense. Sorry, I'm watching Ohio State basketball. But We're like, if, fucking... if, it's, if it's not Becky, I definitely think it'll be Bianca. The next site is supposed to be the Undisputed Tag Team Champions. And we have Tyler Bates. Go ahead. And the Bruiser Wave. Heat gone. I know. Well, you're pausing like you didn't know. I know. You know what? Just do it. Come on. Who do you think? Who I think what? I just said. You just said. the Judgment Day. Okay. The Judgment Day. Me too. Christian? Do I do I feel a judgment day breakup or do I do I see them victorious? I feel a breakup but not till WrestleMania. I, I think judgment I hate to agree, but yeah, I think the judgment day is gonna retain. Yeah, so I mean, I think maybe at many of the lose the titles, but I think until then, there's really nothing for them to do except for hold the titles. Yeah. All right. The next fight is to the world's women's championship: Nia Jax versus Rhea Ripley. I said Rhea Ripley, of course. Who do you think, Christian? No, yeah, Rhea Ripley ain't losing in her hometown. <laughs> yeah. Think- I agree. I think you mentioned this in our in our raw recap recap. Um with with this pay-per-view, well not with, with Elimination Chamber, it's like kind of predictable a lot of the times because you know it's hard to have a pay-per-view in February when you know you got WrestleMania coming up. They're not gonna drop the titles right before a big show like that. But there is gonna be one match that we all disagree on. So there is gonna be yeah. a chance for a title change in the in this in the show down here. So I agree. Okay. But we all think Rhea so far. Why do you think Rhea? Um, because I think Rhea's going to WrestleMania. 
to fight back. Yeah, Nia Jax isn't going to wrestle me. But, you know, you could see Nia win by DQ or something. They're in her hometown, too. And she's been looking unbeatable. Now, does that mean that we'll get a triple threat? I mean, you know, they could just do Rhea Ripley versus Nia Jax on a Raw before me. You have Rhea actually beat her. But yeah. if you want to put heat on someone and, you know, I mean, I doubt it, but I think Rhea's getting a win. Okay. Right. All right. So All we're right. at the men's. Why don't you? And we're at the men's. We have Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, Bobby Lashley, L.A. Knight, Kevin Owens, and Logan Paul. Um, I'm going with Drew McIntyre. Okay. How about you, Christian? I want to say Randy Orton, but I have to. I, I, I don't know. I, I I'm might tired of Drew McIntyre, McIntyre versus Seth Rollins. Me I don't too. care what the story is. Give me Randy Orton versus I fucking Randy. Seth Rollins. I want my to pick. My uh, shock, like my pick, is Randy Orton. Orton. Okay. Um. Why do you think it's going to be him over Drew? I mean, with all this... I am i don't want to see Randy this Orton. match again. I'm picking Randy Orton per, based off a biased standpoint. Okay. So you're not... You don't... do. You, let's say you had to pick... I want to make this fun since it's a very predictable pay-per-view. If you didn't make it fun, though, and let's say you were going with... If there was a million dollars on the line, who would you pick? Probably Drew McIntyre. Okay. But I'm going to pick Randy because there's nothing. We haven't seen much of him besides that Roman match since he's come back. I'll tell you a real reason why I could I could, I could pick Randy Orton because we haven't seen much of him. You can't leave a guy like him out of the card. You can leave Drew McIntyre out of the fucking card. Who knows if he even no. resigned with the company? Who knows if he even resigned with the company? Yeah, I don't think Drew McIntyre is going to be. You know what? In life, there's just guys you have to leave out of the card because the roster's too stacked. You're not going to leave out Randy fucking Orton. Okay, a little a title fast. shot against Seth Rollins. Why not? What? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say Randy Orton. Drew McIntyre. I'm, I'm gonna say Randy Orton. But Drew McIntyre might win for storyline purposes. But let's okay. see if Randy Orton can come out on top. I'm go Drew McIntyre is on the poster for the Italy. WWE event in May. He's so, on the poster. He's on the poster for my show where I'm going to in June too. So I'm going to Monday Night Raw. So I got my ticket. I don't know who's gonna win this one. I'm torn. I definitely don't think it's gonna be Logan Paul or Kevin Owens or LA Knight. I'm torn between McIntyre and Orton. Um I'm torn because lately they've. It looks like WWE. If you're just looking at it, like the shows, it looks like they're going for McIntyre with the way he's been shit talking CM Punk. They've had the T-shirt. Right. They've had him beating up. But Cody there's so Punk. many backstage drama with him. I just don't know. And then with Randy Orton, um, he deserves it. He was brought up as this big guy. He debuted the same. He came back the same night CM Punk did. It's Randy fucking Orton. Randy fucking Orton. What what if again like my theory if none of these guys win and the rock shows up and takes it? I know that'd be really stupid. I'm gonna huh, I'm gonna get blocked on I'm gonna I'm gonna get banned on Twitter. If that happens, I'm gonna go off. I think the rock's gonna show up. I just don't think he's gonna be in the elimination chamber. Um I don't know, it's hard for me to pick because again. You made a good point. I don't want to see McIntyre versus I think Rollins he's going to show. If McIntyre wins the Elimination Chamber and Seth Rollins comes out and they do any type of interaction, yeah, I think we see the bloodline. I what don't the, know. I think about it. Him. Think about it. No, squash that. Let's take a fucking time. Time? Time. Grayson Waller. Is doing the Grayson Waller effect with Rollins and mm -hmm. Cody Rhodes. That is when we get the rock. Yes. Okay. 
But again, like, I just feel like we're going to be disappointed because I really, like, I don't want to say this, but I feel like. And the other, the other takers in Australia right now, so. Takers there. Yeah, I think he's going to. I'm just he's torn gonna because it looks like the direction they're going is McIntyre, but you can't forget the fact that they just brought Orton back. And the yeah. only person bigger than him when they brought him back was Punk. Was CM Punk. And now that Punk is out, they could do history where it's like Randy has beaten Rollins at Mania. But I see. Oh, yeah, WrestleMania 31. But my question is if McIntyre were to lose, something's going to have to cost. If McIntyre loses, he's out the door. Drew Galloway's all elite if he loses that wrestle, if he loses. He lose Drew McIntyre loses one more big match, and if that motherfucker loses at the chamber and he's not a part of WrestleMania, yeah, Drew Galloway's all in. And I'm really torn. I don't know. I feel like if WWE wants to shock us, we're getting worried. If WWE wants to sort of go with the storyline that they've been going since Drew McIntyre has been the main guy on Raw. It would be well. This is the thing. Randy's going to WrestleMania, whether he wins or not. And so is Drew. Maybe. We don't know about that. I don't. I don't know about Drew. I know about Randy. If Randy doesn't win, well, my thing if is, Randy if doesn't at... win. If yeah. Randy doesn't win, he goes to WrestleMania regardless. If Drew McIntyre loses, he's not in the card. Really? See, you I can't do anything with Randy. You can put him against Solo. You I can put him it. against something. But you can perfect right there. Put him against Solo. Hold if on. we go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. If we, I hear what you're saying, but if you look at the current, the current past two months on Raw, right? It's all been Drew McIntyre. On SmackDown, it's been Randy Orton, LA Knight, AJ Styles. Knight, AJ Styles. Randy. Like, it's like there's been no, he hasn't gotten any push. So it's like, unfortunately, with the way it looks, it looks like McIntyre is going to win, but they could surprise us and make Orton. You got to make a choice, my friend. I don't know. I don't know. I still don't know what they're going to do because. Drew has lost so many times. That's why I don't think he should win. What the fuck's the point of him going to win? I don't want to see the match again. He's lost but three to times. Be fair, they're making a rematch of last year's Mania, the main event of this year. So for all we know, they could still just be like, fuck it. We're going to give them Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins again. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Why are you thinking it's Drew? Sit up, sir. Because I think there's other fights Randy Orton could be in a WrestleMania. And I, I don't but why see not Drew. Who can Drew fight? He can't. Fight. But what, that's what, like saying though? about everybody. But what? Like, what, where are you? Well, who what are you about Bobby why, Lashley? Why would he Bobby fight Lashley Solo? Fight at me? Carry it. He's not going to fight it. But that's what I'm saying. Like, just like we could say that about everybody. Sorry, I was, help- I was helping my mom with something. But. Yeah, I don't, we've seen the match three times. There's nothing for that motherfucker to do if he loses at the Elimination Chamber. What, hypothetically speaking, let's say he loses the Elimination Chamber. Go ahead. What What would you book him? What would you have him do? Fight Sami Zayn? A match that we've well, seen on Monday Night Raw five times? What about Kevin Owens and Bobby Lashley? What about him? Well, who would they fight at, Mania? No one! So you really think they're gonna put six guys? What the fuck the- has Bobby Lashley done to get arrested? But you got, match? dude. There's two nights. I hear what you're okay. saying. But I hear it's what like you're this- saying, but there's there's literally four weeks. What what do you do? I, I'm I'm I want to. I'm interested in hearing you out. I just. One and what do they do? What do oh, you do? But Logan that's Paul what I'm for trying. The last four months has been losing. He's lost all the all every single championship. So has that Kevin Owens. The only person here that has had a victory in the past couple of months is Logan Paul and Drew McIntyre. Everybody else has lost. Bobby Randy. Lashley, Randy, Ellie Knight, and Owens. 
And Green. Logan Paul's the United States champion. Like LA Knight's gonna have the match. Something's I, Logan Paul's gonna have. This is just my personal, my personal opinion. You have these aren't all. Uh, this is just uh, this is my hypothetical book. And tell me if you don't think, like, how many matches would you say? Ready? Night one. We already okay. We got Jay, Jay and Jimmy, Bailey and Io. Bianca and Jade, uh, and the main event, whatever that is. Oh no, uh, I mean we're last year on each card. Let's five. look at look that up. How many? Because I can book. I I'm pretty sure what we have now could fill up two nights of WrestleMania. Now we don't have the Bianca and Jade thing yet, but I think they're gonna get you there. I'm just telling you the matches I think are gonna happen. There were eight matches on night one, and there were seven on night two. That's what I'm saying, dude. They give you 15. You're not going to put Kevin Owens and Bobby Lashley. Not saying that they're that good, but just it's like they have to, with 18 fucking matches, you have to have. Maybe not Bobby Lashley. I mean, when you put it, okay, when you put it like that, I I, I, I agree more well, now. To be but fair, I just to cut you off. They have been doing lesser matches, so they might. Dude, say, Kevin Owens has fuck. lost every single championship match he's had in the I, last three years, besides the tag team championship. Him on his, he's no good on his own anymore. I'm gonna anymore. go. I'm gonna go with Randy Orton. Oh shit! I'm and, gonna go and, and B might has a chance to take that title from us. I just don't think – I just – again, WrestleMania 40, Seth Rollins versus – See, I mean, this is a hard – I told you, this is going to – this is a – It makes this, sense. I'm happy, because, I'm happy we can actually – because this was this episode was getting boring for a second. I'm kind of happy we can talk about this because this no, is, this is kind think, of – I see what you're saying about Lashley. Like, I guess all these guys have WrestleMania matches – that I think are going to happen, but I don't, I don't know what you can do with, uh, with Kevin Dude, Owens. He's, like, he, like I said, he's lost so many times. Bobby Lashley has been playing fucking master chef, master seafood, the fucking, the street profits for the last fucking how knows long. And it's the boringest shit I've ever seen. He doesn't compete. Mm -hmm. He competes now. He's starting to compete, but he could barely compete. I mean, why? What the fuck? Am, do does he deserve to get a WrestleMania match? Why do I have to? Why should I be invested in this guy? And those the two only, guys. The at only least way. LA Knight has a chance of winning a fucking championship for the he first does. time. In his life. The only way that Drew McIntyre will win is if they plug it like. I took out CM Punk, and I have taken out every. I get it. He's he has because he has lost, but the same logic to Cody Rhodes. Cody lost too, you know. So it's like if and I get it. He hasn't lost as many times as Drew has. Cody's lost, lost to who? To Roman. He won the Royal Rumble this year. I he know gets that he gets that set. He automatically gets that. I rematch, get it. So. But what I'm saying is that if W, if Drew were to win, the only way I could see him winning and it making sense would be if they booked it as I destroyed your main event. You are supposed to fight CM Punk. I made sure that didn't happen. You are supposed to fight Randy Orton. I made sure that didn't happen. I'm so happen. pissed off, by the way. I'm so sorry. To I know. Off. But that's you know how that it disappointing it is that we are not getting a CM Punk, and they might see fans who really like CM Punk, and they might say, "Okay, we're gonna put McIntyre there because he." Don't count him out. He's injured. He still has a fucking mouth. I still he still was advertised to be there. I still think he's gonna be there. I mean, they might. They might be like they. That's the ultimate heel because of me. The match he's gonna be there. See didn't happen, and now I took over this match. You no, know? I mean that's a big. Hulk Hogan, you know, I mean, that's a big thing that you could do. Hulk Hogan did that show at Bret Hart. Um, but that's what I think Randy Orton's going to win. Um, if they do McIntyre, they're going to have to make it like it is my, I ruined everything for you fans, and now you're going to have to deal with it type deal. That's the only way they can push. Right. Well, with that, we have covered every match. I'm excited. 
Um, we have. Well, hey, it, it is. Um, it was good that we got to actually have a debate about I know. something. But this episode was getting stale as fuck. It, well, usually everything is easy. I do think before we go, I feel like they should have picked different people for the men's chamber because of how many losses these people have had. It's like so. It's hard. Like if you put. If Bobby Lashley and Kevin Owens could easily have been. You know what I hope they do? Do you guys remember back in the day? Like back in the day, I mean, like when I was a kid, like in like the early, in like the late like two thousands, where like they were do like Cyber Sunday, like where we could go on WWE.com yeah. and vote. They need to do something like that again mm-hmm. with like who gets to be in the chamber or something like bring that back. Like I used to always text at W. Remember that? Like text at the yeah. fucking Blackberry I, that had the fucking keyboards on the phone. Holy I used shit. to vote on the computer Christian in 2004 for taboo Tuesday. The first one ever I voted online. Oh, cyber Sunday, 2008. Yeah. Uh, on the- WWE.com. I, we had a phone. I, my parents had a phone that has like, that at the, at the time, that was the bougie phone that had the phone that had the big ass keyboards mm-hmm. on the front. At the time, those were the bougie phones to have. So we were doing text WWE dot to vote for Rey Mysterio to fucking fight Kane or some mm-hmm. bullshit around there. It was. Yeah, man. They, they should, should let us that. pick a rec- WrestleMania match. Pick a WrestleMania. Okay, don't let us pick a WrestleMania yeah. match. That's awful. Mm-hmm. Well, it depends on if they gave you options and maybe you could see, or if you yeah, know what they could do, or if they could, if they did like what matches. Give us options and we vote. I would, yeah, yeah, give us options and we vote. I would like that. Or you could have like like a pick a stipulation for a specific match. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's kind of like what Cyber Sunday was. Mm-hmm. Well, with that, we've made our predictions. Chamber is in a couple of nights. I'm going to be checking out the pre-show tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern time. Um, oh my god, the press conference is tonight at 11 o'clock. Yeah. yeah, we got NXT, Dynamite, SmackDown, and a lot coming your way, so stay tuned. Um, but with that, Will Ospreay is all elite, baby. He's all elite, he's fighting. Um, he know, will to catch up, he'll be on Dynamite Wednesday. Holy shit, Will Ospreay on national TV. I'm sorry, sorry, you guys all know how much I love the motherfucker. I'm going to be covering Dynamite. I'm going to watch that probably tomorrow, so we'll get that. But Elevate. until next time, elevated, stay safe, stay uncensored, and enjoy Elimination Chamber 20. I'm coming for that damn title. We'll see. I mean, we have we picked the same. We team. have the same ones. I forgot you picked Randy. Yeah, so I'm but, coming for that title. We'll see. Yeah. Though. All right. Until next time, stay safe and enjoy Elimination Chamber. Bye, y'all.